News in the world of Valheim, let's go! Two of the Iron Gate team, Jonathan and Josephine, recently participated in a roundtable discussion with some other devs for multiple games. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to watch the entire live stream with all the information. But for now, let's get to all these details and bombshells about what's coming up for Valheim. First of all, the Bog Witch. We got a sneak peek little trailer here of some of the things coming up in the Bog Witch update. There is going to be a more detailed preview of it coming up soon. Sounded like maybe next week. And it sounds like they're looking at having the Bog Witch come out in the next few weeks. So that does not guarantee that it's going to be here in time for Halloween. But hopefully they did clarify that the Bog Witch will be going to public test branch. Of course, bugs will depend on how fast it gets out of there. So we can confirm that the Bog Witch is a type of traitor. She's based on a creature that is already in the game. Of course, we're going to go ahead and assume Haldor, but I don't know that that's actually true. Maybe she's based on a Draugr. We'll be able to buy stuff like plants and ingredients to get new recipes for a couple different types of things. And this is interesting. One of the types of recipes that we're going to be able to get are food recipes and Jonathan described it kind of as food level two. So we're going to be able to combine things to make feasts. And these feasts are food that you can just like sit out on the table with no item stands. Hallelujah. We need more of that. I'm just saying. They now have the technology. Come on, we can get it added to other things too. And also these feasts will be able to last longer than level one food. And get this, once it's sitting out on the table, it can be eaten by multiple people. That's an interesting concept. So if you're all getting ready to go on an adventure, lay out a feast, everybody goes and eats from the table and you take off. That's a really, I don't know whose idea that was, but that's a really cool idea. I like it. And then the second type of thing, of course, that we're going to be able to get ingredients to be able to make things from the Bach Witch is potions. And apparently there's going to be quite a few new types of potions. So we get maybe some ideas here of things we'll be able to get from them. I don't know. What is this red thing? Am I not remembering what that is? Is that something new? These different colored things kind of remind me of... The jewels from Ashlands, but that wouldn't be the case because this is in the swamp. So these have got to be ingredients as well. Then we get a pretty good look at some of the plants that are available to buy. Of course, I want to be able to have this as a build piece, but I'm not going to hold my breath, but fingers crossed. Obviously, those are plants that we don't currently have access to. And as we keep going along, we get a little preview of what is a potion bottle here. This potion bottle seems to have feathers on it. So, of course, my mind immediately goes to, like, the feather cape. And will this potion give us the same ability as the feather cape without wearing the feather cape? Because that would be genius right there. And if that's the case... I would think they would want to lock it behind where you can get the feather cape, maybe? I don't know. I'm guessing on that. But look at this next part. Obviously, this is feathers hanging from a string. I wonder if these are the feathers from a fallen Valkyrie. So would get that be what gives us the power in a potion? Or is that going to be a separate potion power? So many questions. It's really interesting, too, because... Jonathan kind of said there will be a lot of new potions and kind of hinted that there will be a lot of different kinds of things like made a little comment about love potion and Josephine was like that's you know for discovery but I'm like what is that real is that like was that a joke or are we gonna get like actually some kind of love potion that maybe helps us with taming creatures faster or hmm, what I don't know I think of creatures because the heart's going up when they're training you know. Of course, the Bog Witch's hut itself has these little blue glowy things around it. I'm sure that's outlining it like Haldor's does. Maybe to help us find it. Not going to hold my breath that that's something that we'll be able to get and do anything with. I like the roof on this hut too. Look at that little deco on the top. We need better toppers, especially for the middle of roofs. That would be genius if we could get that. But wait, there's more. It sounds like there's going to be a quite a bit of stuff in this update that isn't just specifically to the Bog Witch, but some real quality of life changes that they're making as well. And changes to skills. They've heard the feedback that 
Some players aren't out fighting and adventuring all the time. They're the ones that stay at home and take care of things and build. And they're going to add in skills for those players that like to stay at home. So they're looking at adding skills for things like farming, cooking, crafting, building. He kind of said crafting and building together. So I don't know if those are going to be separate. But yeah, we're going to have separate skill sets for those that keep the home fires burning. And specific to quality of life stuff, we're going to be getting a new extension, a new crafting table called a prep table. And so this is going to be so that we have less recipes in the cooking pot, which has gotten quite long. And we'll be able to do some things at the prep table. There's going to be a station for meats. So those can be divided out and done separately. And get this. We're going to be able to craft multiple recipes at a time. Like cook multiple recipes at a time. That's been long asked for. Big time saver. Especially for those of us that have thousands of hours in the game. And we've cooked many, many times. Like we can speed it up now which is nice. And right alongside that, we're getting a new tool called a scythe. And with this tool, you'll be able to farm multiple items at a time. I hear the applause now. That's a request I heard from the community a lot. And they specifically said some of this content that they're adding in right now is that things that people have wanted for a long time. And so they're having an opportunity to add some in with this update. They do emphasize that this update hasn't taken a lot of time away from the Deep North. People are always worried about that. But because of the place that they're at in production of Deep North, you know, other devs need things to do as well. And so that gives them a chance to work on some of these other things of adding content and refining content of things that people have asked for. And I want to throw this in here too. Not positive that this will be in the update by the time of the Bog Witch, but I think there's a chance. These are some designs that Jonathan was showing for how Black Forest crypts may be changing in the future. Some of these look kind of normal, but some of them do not. Like this, look, there's two different entrance exit points. So this is going along with them continuing to go back and revisit things in prior biomes to adjust and add content there as well. My next Valheim news video is going to be on Valheim 1.0 and the Deep North. Stay tuned, subscribe, and like for that. Until next time, happy gaming.